Hi everybody, welcome to another video. So in today's video, uh, I'm gonna talk about DAO E2, which is a model from OpenAI. So this is a very interesting model. Uh, we've seen the advancements that we got in deep learning in the last few years that we think that is very hard to do, which is to generate images that have some coherency uh, using entirely text um, happens. So this model is a new system that can create realistic images in R from a description in natural language. This is a generative model. The input is a description of an image so if you think about a data set that you have the image and the description of the image uh, this can be used to train something like DAL E2. It's very hard because these are using state of the art models that are that require quite a bit of engineering and compute power to run. So you guys need to be aware of that. But um, there are some projects that try to create an open source version. So here's a, a some photos. Let's just run the video. I hope I don't get a copyright strike. So let's see. Two is a system from OpenAI that can take text like a koala dunking a basketball and turn it. So you guys can see here this denoising basketball and turn it. So these are called diffusion models, which I think was Google that that introduced this. Basically, the model starts training from a, a random noise, I think a Gaussian distribution noise, and then it starts to uh, move towards the image. So it, it can learn better. So the idea is quite similar to the noise out encoder, encoders, I think. But they usually take a lot of time to start to move into, into this direction of being able to denoise the, the image. Into an image that never existed before. You can also create new variations of pre-existing images. So you guys can see here that it, it can create new images. It, it's kind of interesting. I, I want to see a model like this being used to super resolution. I don't think we've seen uh, something like this used for uh, super resolution or nerf. Through deep learning. So here we can see the distribution of, of images. Dolly understands the relationship between text and images. Dolly can so, edit this image of a monkey. So the input is text. You're doing something new. Like it's very interesting to see how this can be used to generate assets. For, for videos or games. So this will be definitely very interesting in the future when uh, we can, when we will be able to run this on a house computer. Like paying its taxes while wearing a funny hat. So here they, they did the imaging painting uh, stuff. So because it is a denoise autoencoder, it works like a denoise autoencoder. It can f fill the gaps uh, quite nicely. Dolly shows how a magic okay. So let's see uh, some examples. Um, so here we we see the text uh, that someone gave to the model. An astronaut surfing on a sea turtle of a rainbow past planets in space. Digital art. So we can see this um, image. It it got it got almost everything right. Uh, so. Let me see if I have a filter on, guys. Yeah, I don't have a filter. I just added a nice suppression because I am with. So, a photo of an astronaut riding a horse. So, it can create these very interesting images. The thing here and the hand here. It kind of looked real. Uh, we're going to see something very interesting, I think. GPT-4 probably in the works. So this is so meta. Uh, so a robot painting on a canvas while playing piano, the piano. So this is very interesting because we are actually asking the model to create something that it, it, it we thought it was impossible. There is a very actually famous scene on iRobot. I uh, asks that robot if he can paint or create art. Okay, so, and this is a very mind-blowing uh, image. Uh, is <laughs> you guys can see the prompt, uh, a, a car designed by Steve Jobs. 
and it created uh, something similar to the iPhone. I don't know how how the model can come up with something so unique. I don't know. If you think about it, it might be something that Steve Jobs would do it, but I don't see the the the, the wheels. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe it's a car that that flies or something because I cannot see. So uh, there's definitely some some stuff here. This model support um, image painting. Yeah, uh, he can alter an image, uh, create a variation of an image. Yeah, my internet's not loading. So these are the fusion models. As we saw there, we can see the difference between DAW E1 and DAW E2. Uh, it it improves quite a lot, and I expect that the new next iteration of this model will be even better. I cannot wait to see how um, the acceptance of the, the image that the model were able to create. Uh, you guys can see here, you guys can check all over Twitter. Uh, people talk a lot about this. Uh, and I'm very happy to see such a step towards um, deep learning. I hope that we can see more of these models applied to other tasks soon. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know that I, I haven't posted videos that much in the last months, uh, and I plan to do more in the future. You guys can um, ask me for more videos if you guys want to. So that's it. See ya.